thought I'd pop on for a quick little sesh uh, playing with the divine again. I love playing with my spirit guides. I loved who they've come up with so far um, with a past version or other alternate version of myself. And one of Atrona's last night was really cool. It was really cool. So I thought, why not jump on and explore that a little bit more? Guess who it is? <laughs> Welcome in, Ryan. <laughs> How was your day? How was your day? Um, didn't you say you had a physio that you went to today? We might, um, we could probably tap into your spirit guides and see what a different version of yourself would have been like if you're interested. I'm assuming you don't usually dabble into the woo-woo world, but it, it can be really fun. Not knowing what comes up and kind of seeing things in a bit of a different uh, way so let me know um, I think my plans were we'll see if a trainer jumps on but he might not so I either finish his character or his version of himself I didn't get him his um, horns yet because he needs horns um, but yes doing uh, the last of his outfits Oh, oh, isn't she amazing? I just love... I, I, I made her. And I just love... I just love... She's just... Amazing. I You are the woo-woo world. Enough said. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, well, let's grab... I think it's only fair that we... Grab. Where is he? There he is. We should probably grab. Oh, is it Lexon? Because he's not finished yet. Um, you've got to do some more of his outfits. But I was also thinking, um, we know. Brian, if you are here and you are interested, I could do your character or your alternate version that your spirit guides would like to bring forward. Let me go if that. Uh, let me know if that interests you. In the meantime, though, I do have our Lex on here, if I've named him correctly. Yeah, Lex on Shrudi. Oh yeah, you're in. Do I have permission to connect to your guidance team? Oh, he turned out so quirky. So. I think I kind of explained it last time. So what I do is I connect with your spirit guidance team and they they guide me through clear audience on all of the options, on absolutely everything in here. So for example, um, I know when we were doing the face lighters, like um, they would tell me yes or no as to whether this needs to be changed and then they will say go 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 and then I hear stop. That's a little example on how it goes. So I have no idea on what I'm look I'm, I'm usually not even looking at the sim. I'm just focusing on the different sliders and th these are some of the things that have been coming up which is really cool. I, I adore it. I love connecting with my um, guidance team and it's nice to play with them in a bit more of a, a quirky way like sometimes I think they look to be a little bit more on the serious side but you know they love being playful and exploring different things and finding new ways to interact with us so it's kind of cool you might see let's see uh, you might see a lot of threes 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 why threes alrighty well if you've given me permission we might delve straight in and start doing your character and and then we'll go from there. 
So let me just take a few deep breaths. Feel free to join me and then we'll just connect uh, with what's going to come through. This, this will be fun. I see 333s everywhere. Oh, I love that. You really are the woo woo. Alright. Alright, we'll do the male, a male version of you. Oh, although doing so. You could have easily been a female in a past life. Alright, I'm going to take a few deep breaths and just connect with your guidance team. Oh, they have a really grand energy. They've gone in like, it's, it seems like one particular one of your guides is really making an influence <laughs> coming through. Being like m massive, huge, like a massive grand presence. Almost like if you were to see us humans be this big, he's like, he's like, he's like this. He's huge, 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 huge. Kind of, uh, it looks like sitting on a seat of some kind. Um, very much in like an authority kind of f presence, very strong, very stable, very sturdy, very confident. Yeah, big grand presence, and that does not surprise me with what I've tuned in with your energy. So it's cool to see that that's how they're resonating with you as well. All right, let's see what they've got for you. Who is your um, alternate version of yourself? Raya. How would I spell that? Fry, fry, Judy, Judy. I'm getting like Judy. I don't know. If that's the closest way that I could uh, pronounce that in English. We'll go with that. <laughs> All right, the closest supernatural type. They all go fairies, which makes sense to me, because the abilities of the fairies, they're very connected energetically with like energy auras, they're very in touch with the energies of mother nature through plants, um, yeah, they're very in touch with the elements, so that makes sense that that comes through. Everyone wants to be a fairy. <laughs> This is going to be a, 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 a apocalyptic town of, a f of fairies, basically. Alright. We'll keep the age as it is. Let's pick the skin tone. So I'll I'll try and say what I'm saying so you know what I'm talking about. So I asked which column. No, no, no. Which column? Yes. Yes. Okay, this column here. No, no. Okay, we're going blue. Oh, no, we might not be going blue. So then I go, 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 go into a uh, here stop. Okay. Okay. This is giving off this very grand energy I was kind of talking about. Very present, very grand, very big. Because um, he's about as big as you can get. <laughs> okay, let's see what wings. So we're going to these wings and the color. They're waiting on something. Are they waiting on you? Or are you about to say something? <laughs> Do you want to use colours instead? No. They're not giving me anything wing wise, so I'm just gonna leave the wings for now and we'll come back to them. Right here. This is the hair that he's having the whole way through, so let's see what he's got for us. Are you not here with me anymore, Ryan? They've gone quiet on me. I'm assuming it's because you're not here anymore?
You are here. Okay. Well then, what are they wanting? What are your thoughts so far? Like, <laughs> are you resonating with his cute name? <laughs> Freya, was it Freya? Freya Judy. The gold's a vibe too. Is there maybe a um, feature you would like to do first for him that you're most curious about? The name reminds me of the Scandinavian industry I have. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. <laughs> do you have a particular feature you'd like to do first? We can do, we could do face. We could do. Um, we could do personality, we could do the wings, we could do his hair. What feature would you like to explore first? Scandinavian ancestry is pretty cool. Let's go personality straight off the bat. All right, let's do it. Which is going to be quirky because we have no idea what he's meant to look like. Okay, let's see. Yes. Stop. Alright, hydrophobic is the first one. Uh, Doesn't possible? like water. Possible? Interesting. Okay. Party animal. Green thumb. Interesting. Light sleeper. Interesting character. Okay. Socially oh. awkward. Okay. He's quirky. He's a quirky character. Okay. Okay, we're going a randomized one for him. Are you resonating? <laughs> These are like my polar opposites. <laughs> He's balancing you. He's balancing you. <laughs> one sim band, so he's into music though. Hmm. So in other words, uh, Ryan, you'll say that you're a heavy sleeper. It'd be like impossible to wake you up. Um, you don't like to go party. You are an introvert. Socially awkward. You're actually really confident and good around people. Um, hydrophobic. You actually love to swim. And green thumb. What would be the opposite of green thumb? Um, I don't know. What's the opposite of being a gardener? <laughs> What is that supposed to be the gardener? Um, uh, oh no, is the opposite of being a gardener someone? Oh, a what? Okay. We are living in the yellow submarine. Oh, what? Yellow submarine. Okay. Yellow submarine. <laughs> Kyle. Welcome, welcome. How'd you go? You didn't end up um, getting, like, working too hard today, right? After I saw you. <laughs> Thank you so much for subbing. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome into the crazy crew. Look at your cute banana, man. Check out the banana. You're a cool banana. A black <laughs> the opposite of a green thumb is a black thumb. There you go, Brian. All sorted. Maybe more mechanical? I don't know. Yeah, that's that's fair, actually. Uh, no, no, no. Isn't it... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it, it would be more mechanical, which I guess would be black thumb, in a sense. So maybe Kyle isn't too far off. <laughs> I love that. Alright. Let's go into here. 
Okay, cookies are to stay. Is disco. Heck yeah. Party, let's go wild. Favorite color? Purple. Purple's very popular. Oh, Bratzel. Let a girna vita sichi. Interesting. All right, we'll get his star sign. A Leo. Love me my Leos. All right, and then we'll channel through what bio we have, which is going to be really cool because we have no idea what his bio could be. We are, we are really just going to be working backwards than before, which is really cool. <laughs> Kyla never work. Oh my god, I'm right. Crap. Some. I'm right. What? Oh my god, I'm right. Crap. Someone clip that. <laughs> Well done. Well done. You've done a good job. You you you, you actually uh <laughs> actually did something right for once. Hmm. <laughs> so Brian, I actually saw Kyle today. He was working in town and I went to make sure that he was working and he told me that he was trying his hardest to do anything but work. So <laughs> Alright, let me ch channel the bio. This isn't making a lot of sense, but I'm just going to keep channeling and see if it comes through. Alright, this is kind of quirky and fun. <laughs> okay, so Freya, 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 I think I'm trying to say it Freya. Freya. Um, ever been more of a goer? Really wanting to take the reins and well, that's meant to be take off. Freya has. He has all the combustion of take off, but doing so in his own quirky ways. Good luck keeping up with him because he does do it in his own way. <laughs> oh, Kyle, but at least you picked the best star sign. Uh, Kyle, are you being biased? You're being biased, aren't you? Uh, I love Leos. I've got a bit of a soft spot for Leos, I will admit. Although, in saying that, Ryan, I have had a lot of Scorpios and Cancers coming into my life at the moment. Like, a lot. <laughs> I'm attracting them all at the moment. <laughs> that last part is pretty accurate. Well, I'm glad that it's 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 tying in. That's pretty fun. All right, what's the next feature? Are we going to do his looks, his hair, his clothes? We've still got his wings to do as well. Maybe we can do his wings now. I might do his wings whilst you're thinking what you'd like to do next. Oh, okay. Skin tone and wing tone is interesting. Okay, well, let's go. I'm curious. We've been doing it backwards. Maybe we can keep doing it backwards and, and guess what his appearance is going to look like. So let's go. Let's do his clothes now. Um, and see what comes up. Because then it would be interesting when his face matches his clothing. Alright, let's go 
go down to here. My poor game trying to keep up. So, Kyle, you may not know what's going on, but feel free to ask if you're interested in what's going on. Catching up. Alright, we're going this style, which is interesting. This is interesting because this is a similar colour to his wings, so there might be a trend coming in. Hmm, this could be interesting. What are your thoughts so far about this, Ryan? Like, are, are you curious? <laughs> I am. Maybe next time I should specify um, a, a human past version of ourselves because otherwise we're just going to keep getting multi-dimensional ones. Alright, we're going one of these but he wants to change the colour. Interesting attire coming together here. It's interesting. Yeah. I hope you don't mind uh, going uh, multi-dimensional for this one because he's not going to be human. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not on the human side of things. Let's change his shoes. But this is the first time we've had green as a focus. So this is pretty cool because these wings actually have a green touch to them. He wants these, but he wants them in a different colour. Dark green shoes, looking tidy. Is, is green a colour of yours? <laughs> Alright, let's see what accessory he wants. Maybe next time we could do a the female version of Kyle. <laughs> I've got claws in this one. Interesting. Let's save the colour. It's like a leprechaun. Heck, are we working with a leprechaun right now? I mean, I could see a leprechaun being socially awkward, but wanting to party all the time. Being a light sleeper. Um, <laughs> like, is he a leprechaun? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what part of the world they're making the inspiration from in my ancestors. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm actually intrigued that they've gone um, more on the magical 
multi-dimensional side of things because I don't know how in tune you are with the multi-dimensional side of things. Um, like if it was more humanoid, like the human ancestors, that would make more sense. But in my belief, our human ancestors still had influence from multi-dimensional galactic beings. So like this is kind of like going your ancestors that you would perceive in a more human aspect and then just kind of taking it <laughs> another giant leap anyway we're still going leprechaun vibes for your ancestors just saying okay so we're going to use claws you can't see the necklace but he wants a necklace so we'll let him have the necklace even though you can't see it um, okay, this goes formal. Apparently his hair stays the same the whole time. And we're going a full outfit for it. Arms are cheek. Alright, we're going to give him his own suit. Surprised his color isn't green. It was purple. Green. It's also green. Your ancestor's a leprechaun, man. Okay, I don't think we want to change the shoes. Change the colour of the shoes, maybe. He's being f well, they've been funny about that, so we'll leave it. From memory, Irish is my lowest percent of ancestry. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yes, he wants his claws, of course. And change his shoes. <gasps> it is St. Patrick's Day. They're fucking with us, man. Not not just you, us. And they're having a great time doing it. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Although I wouldn't be surprised that your guidance team would fuck around like that. I can't believe we're making a leprechaun right now. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. See, I love, I think people, I, I said it before that, I think people think of spirit guides and take them too seriously, but they like being playful too and like bringing back that inner child and, you know, like you see them and I personally work with mine and if you allow yourself to be connected, you can work with yours. Like they're a best friend, right? They're, they're fun and they're quirky and yeah, they can be nurturing and mothering and guiding and wise and whatnot. But they're fun and playful too, which is why it's really fun playing with them in The Sims. Were we legit making <laughs> your Sims and making you as a leprechaun? <laughs> they're like, it's St. Patrick's Day. We're going to go back to when Ryan was in his leprechaun, uh, leprechaun days. I fucking love it. That's hilarious. Okay, anything else in here? I'm surprised they're not like glaming him up with like anything else, but no, that's what we're doing. We'll be, I'm really intrigued what he's going to look like when we do his features. Because hey. he's going to look so different. And like, this is what I love about playing with my spirit guides too. Like, I have no control over what they look like, but there's a theme, right? 
there's a theme. I'm making a specific, uh, like, I'm making a particular person or essence or species in particular, but I have no control over it. Like, it's just so awesome. They're like, no Viking King warrior today. Today you will be a little ranger. <laughs> well, hey, we don't know. It might not have red hair. Maybe us humans have gotten the whole ancient leprechaun vibes all wrong. Oh, I wouldn't mess with this leprechaun, man. Not, not, I would not mess with him. <laughs> Let's change the color. All the green. I'm loving it. <laughs> All right, you need your claws. Can't forget his claws. He'll be very upset if we didn't give him his claws. Okay. Athletic. Doing an outfit. This could get interesting. Nayaka. Make that his athletic, please. <laughs> Imagine working out with that. I could so see you working on that, Ryan. Just think, think, yeah, how, um, how agile you would be. Like, so, just so much movement, so much room for movement. Now let's do his pants. Right, he wants to color them himself, probably to green. A little bit lighter than these usual go to. Interesting color choice. We'll change the shoes. We'll see what he wants to wear for his shoes when he's being athletic. All right. And he'll want his claws. We're saying claws, but I guess they're more like just nails. Swimwear. Oh, a Zadurpa. Oh, what pants are you wanting? Okay. 
give him his claws. I can't believe we're making a leprechaun pie right now. That's so funny. I forgot, I forgot that it was St. Patrick's Day too. <laughs> Okay, now he's out of wear. So. Ah, I'm doing the vibe. in here he wants. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I don't mind that. I got told it was today at Physio, otherwise I wouldn't have known. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have tied it together. I, I only knew because I went in to see as um, Asiman before. This is so Irish, right? This, I'm curious what his features are going to look like when we actually do his face. But I'm really loving this. Like, I can't believe we're doing a leprechaun. <laughs> I just was not expecting that on St. Patrick's Day we're going to be doing an Irish leprechaun. This is what I'm loving about having these sessions. Like, you don't know how, what's going to come up. Like, I've never in my life created a night elf before. Like, I've never explored that appearance or anything like that. And the fact that I made one... Like, how can you not believe in, like, things beyond... Like, you, do, you, do you believe in spirit guides? I'm assuming you are, because you're still here. I don't wear jeans at all. Well, who knows? These might end up not turning into jeans. Yeah, I don't think... Hmm. Okay, change this. The vibes, man. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna change the shoes. Alright, we're going these shoes apparently. color tones like <clears throat> every single one of these um like unique sims that we've done they've all had a specific color choice like it's so cool i'm loving this okay let's give him his claws He just wants his clothes. All right. Let's do his hair. I'm curious. Let's do hair first. Let's see what he has. Mm. 
Okay, we're going this hairstyle again, which we've been doing a lot. Okay, it's a pretty tame hair. I was expecting it to get a little bit more crazy, but it's not. <laughs> Oh, hair colour. Oh, this could be a game changer. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Do we have a beard? Oh, how long? Like this sort of long? Like, is this not far off then? Hmm. Zuzel. Nobody here. All right, this is the moment of truth. Longer than that, that's pretty impressive. Alright, this could this could change his whole persona, alright? This is the moment of truth. Okay. Okay. It's like maybe five, six centimeters off my hole. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty. That's pretty good. Well, that's like um, it's about here. It, it could be like longer than mine. Do you usually grow your hair out? That's impressive. All right, let's do the chin. Eyes time. Okay, let's see what comes up here. Got dark red eyes. And I decided to yolo and see how long we could get before I get bored. Two years is pretty decent. My brother ended up doing a similar thing. My brother has nicer hair than me. It's such BS, right? <laughs> okay, mouth.
<laughs> what are your thoughts so far? <laughs> Alright, well that's his features. <laughs> no, he's a leprechaun, oh, silly. Yeah. Interesting. How cool. Okay, he does have a tattoo. On his chest. I don't think there's any of the places that I'd like to see it. The closest to. I'll do a back one instead then. Because it might sit better. There's a lot of colours in this thing. It all looks black. Another tattoo somewhere. Where do you want to put this tattoo? Okay. Interesting. But he, this one is to look the same as that one. I don't even know if that even got the colours. Maybe we'll just leave it as that one is. I still want one on the chest. Oh, all about this this one particular winged hound. Interesting. What are your thoughts on the on the winged hound that keeps coming up? Where are your phoenixes on your chest? Because that would be really curious. Because they originally wanted to, I think, have something similar to this on the chest. But the chest wouldn't allow any of those particular positions to be placed there. Because the sims won't actually kind of place those in the right spot. That could be really quite bizarre. Hmm, intriguing. There might be a little sneaky from spirit. Okay, now, I guess, um, this is this is kind of this is Friar. This is I guess what he was meant to look like. So. Does he look like a party goer to you? A little leprechaun? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, I love that. I don't know, maybe they'll make him reference to that for you. 
Although there is a phoenix, there is a phoenix in the tattoo, so I don't know if it's just because how they placed. I don't know. I don't know, but that's cool. All right. Well, this is our our friar, who is our um, leprechaun friend. I thought he turned out pretty cool. Arms the cheek. There you go. This is every day I tire. He's definitely got a bit of a leprechaun vibe, even if his hair isn't red. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he stole my card and went to the casino pretending he ha he's a hotshot. But we'll go with it. I mean, he does have a quirky personality, right? He's fun. He's fun. I like him. <laughs> um. Well, is there... Would you like to see who a divine partner like a divine partner for you would be or if you're currently dating someone if you wanted to see how they came through is there anything on those regards that you'd be curious about or we can make him a pet we can make him um you know his maybe a, a representation of yeah a pet for him if you'd like a girlfriend, yeah, we could do your uh, your Spirit Guide's version of a soulmate for you and Friar. <laughs> Ryan, would you finally like a girlfriend? Or would you like a pet animal instead? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm quite impressed with how we turned out. Deepa Hadura quote. He wants to be a musician too, which is quirky. Let's see if they know me, the little fuckers. <laughs> so in other words, y you want to do a girlfriend. A soulmate, we'll say. <laughs> okay, because I would also, um, I think what my plan would be is I would love to I guess I guess we're slowly filling the neighborhood with um yeah I guess my community's potential uh different soul versions of themselves so that's pretty cool and before she looks like princess Sh Fiona or Shrek going with the green vibe hey she might not even be of the same species okay we're gonna have to see what comes up all right let me tune into what her name is. Oh, for howdy. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Welcome on in. Is that Neon Angie? Is that how you go? A Neon Ange? Welcome on in. We're, we're playing with my spirit guides at the moment. <laughs> um, my spirit guides are... Well, actually, this is Ryan's spirit guides. We're creating uh, his some of his past lives or versions of himself, and they thought it would be hilarious to bring out a past um, version of a leprechaun because <laughs> it's St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that was absolutely hilarious because I was I completely forgot it's St. Patrick's Day, and then we we're halfway through building this, and we're like, hmm, wait on, like wait a second here. <laughs> No, it was cool. It was quirky. Uh, right, I'm optimistic. <laughs> we'll see where this goes. Who knows? Maybe this is your um, leprechaun um, bride, right? Okay, let's see what name comes up. I'm getting like a Frida. So I'm going to go Frida. Do you want to pronounce it that way? or I like that better. Frida. Oh, wow, this is an interesting last name. Progiri. Progiri is how it kind of came through. So this is Frida Progiri. The closest to her supernatural type. Apparently humans the closest to a supernatural type. So maybe we are going more on a, um, a human level for you. I haven't done a human one yet. Okay. I 
I'm intrigued. Neon, I won't be able to stay long, but thought I'd drop a follow to hopefully catch a stream in the future. Yes, I would love you to join. I'm going through a pretty uh, big sim phase at the moment. Uh, at the moment, I'm really enjoying playing with my spirit guide. So next time you pop on, maybe I can create um, a soul version of yourself guided by your spirit guides. Um, and I'm also doing a leprosy challenge. And every now and again, I jump on and play like played up or some of the other games that we've been playing I know we dabble I dabble I zip around but either way thank you for sticking your head in and hopefully you can stick around for a little while to see who Australian Maid's potential soulmate will be so cool this ends up being like a this lifetime thing because oh that will just really saucy <laughs> but no cheers for popping in so let's see okay uh Ryan, am I going in order for you right now? Or do you want to have a specific order? Like personality first, then maybe um, appearance, then clothes, then hair? Or do you have a set order? Or do you want me to just go with what I'm drawn to? Um, whilst you're making up your mind though, I'm going to start dabbling with their clothes. <laughs> This uh, this sim, this rent my sim already is quite pretty. All right, let's see what clothes she's going to be wearing. The only thing with um, the female sims is there's so many more clothes to filter through. <laughs> All right, well we're doing clothes first then apparently. Okay, let's see what the get up is. pants let me know if you're liking the style because this looks like this might be more humanoid so I'll be curious if you were to see this in real life what your thoughts would be Frida Frida Prajeri Prajeri that might is that an Indian is that an Indian influence to her shoes. I'm liking her style already. I think they're waiting on a response from you. Hmm. 
Like, are you already intrigued? Is she already kind of having a style that you'd be interested in? I will expose nothing to the... You're gonna leave me hanging like that? That's not fair. That's not fun. Brian, no. <laughs> I do not, I do not agree. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's her everyday attire. I'm a little wigged out that I'm actually doing a human right now. <laughs> this is actually normal. I'm very, very wigged out, but excited. Like, we've got to do our facial features now, right? Or do we leave that for the big reveal? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm down for that. <laughs> we'll do the makeup now, though. We'll do our makeup now, though. It'd be cool how it changes with her face when we adapt everything else. At the moment, I'm adoring her style. Like, she seems really cool. I'm, I'm, would you, would you usually go someone of a darker skin tone? And this is like an Indian vibe.
double. All right, all right. Well, Sydney's a little bit more more uh, multicultural than where I live. <laughs> I'm loving your choice in makeup, though. Okay. Um, well, that's her makeup for this outfit, which I really like on her. Let's go to her formal. I'm loving doing a human for a change. Ryan, this could actually like legit be your girl in this lifetime. That's very exciting. <laughs> I have never done this before, so this is really yeah, intriguing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're going a dress. Because that get up is very intriguing. <laughs> She's wearing now. The throw me a few different possible outfits, and it's confusing me. Okay, we might need to come back to the formal because they're kind of not giving me a lot here. Can at least do her hair for when she's in a formal attire though. Maybe we need to do that first. Now they've gone funny on me. Are you still with me? What are your thoughts so far? Like, obviously we have a data facial features, but from her style, what are your thoughts so far? She must be in Western Sydney because they're all bad. What? Oh, she mustn't be in Western Sydney. You might need to go exploring. You need to get out of your little bubble there. Heck, maybe you need to go to, to India. <laughs> something kind of like along these lines which would be pretty cool so we'll go with this for now see if they'll give us an outfit for right now so one of these dresses here that they keep wanting to go to but then they won't reveal what it is why am I getting so blocked over an outfit what are you, what are you not saying Ryan what are you what are you not saying Because they're being funny there. Um, maybe we need to go to a different section. I don't know, maybe we need to do a makeup.
Yeah, because they're not as clear. They're not as being clear and distinct. Oh, my internet's going funny. That's probably why. <laughs> my back I didn't realize I'd cut out my back hello Brian are you are you back ah oh, I think we're back a little worry about this internet though that doesn't look happy Come on, internet, you can do it. You can do it, I believe in you. Come on, internet. I was like, why is my psychic connection going funny? And I was like, well, that's probably why the internet was going funny. <laughs> Let me just see if it's settled. Make sure that you're back with me. Come on, internet. Coming into let me find my woman. <laughs> I just want my woman. <laughs> Let's see that if you've come back enough for me to pick her formal outfit because I wasn't allowed to choose anything else until you came back. Come on, internet, you can do it. She's seeming like a vibe though. Come on, internet. You can do it. I really need to get an ethernet cord. Oh, that would be a vibe. That's not her real boobs, though. <laughs> we might be able to get away with it. Oh, wow. Internet back. <laughs> Ryan, no, we're going to find your love, I swear. The internet's trying. But I could tell. I could tell. Because my psyche connection isn't coming as clear. Like the messages aren't as distinct. So just let me know you're with me, okay? Let me know that you're following this smoothly enough. But I'm loving her vibe. I'm loving her vibe. I can't believe I'm actually making a human right now. Is that a, is that a wedding ring? Mm. 
Maybe that's why you haven't found her yet, because she could be married, or this is representing when she is with you. <gasps> we need to get this bracelet off at the moment, because it's not good. But I'm getting like, um... Yeah, my message is coming through on as distinct. Let me just, uh, maybe I just need to breathe into it again. After all the technology stuff. Let's go with sleepwear. I don't know. You're either a homebreaker or this is because she's already with you. <laughs> that gag. she's going to be going for. I've never been good at styling my sims. I should just let my guide style my sims for me. is a babe. Okay. Let's do her hair for when she's going to bed. Why is she wearing that wristband to bed? Are you enjoying this, Ryan? Is this a pretty cool experience? I'm finding this really cool because I wasn't expecting to do a human and this is coming along pretty well. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> Snar, kushla. She's giving you Hawaii vibes. Hawaii? Really? That's cool. Do you reckon uh, Freddie Prigeri is a, a Hawaiian name? Or her style is Hawaiian?
keep the pants, but we'll change the colour. Hello, Daddy. How was your night? <laughs> Did you get a win? We'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> night, Daddy. He was watching the footy. Hello, Hadi. Hi, baby. <gasps> oh, Hadi. Oh, Hadi, darling. It's a hard life. He's having to share with my sister's dog at the moment. He's not very impressed. <laughs> I'm sure he's willing to... He'll be willing enough to, to share. <laughs> I'm currently making the soulmate for one of my viewers, which is pretty cool. I'm having fun with it. Who knows? I mean, his spirit guides are having a great time. So I'm just going to share the story quickly to my dad, Ryan. Um, so we we jumped on. I was like, okay, let's do a version of like a past version, like life or a different version of yourself or whatever it is through your spirit guides. Turns out it's St. Patrick's Day and his guys thought it'd be hilarious to make a leprechaun. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this is the leprechaun. Um, cause as soon as I started making it, I was like, oh my gosh, like it's, he's wearing green. He just wants to wear green. It's just all green. CB loads in. The poor game is having to keep up with, uh. Suzel. There you go. There's our leprechaun. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it was just completely guided. I was, did not expect myself to make a leprechaun. <laughs> so uh, I think Dad's also impressed by your little uh, spirit guides trick there, Ryan. That's hilarious. Yeah, the wings. They're cool. They're the, the closest we could get to the powers of a leprechaun. So <laughs> that'll do. Yeah, no, Dad's impressed. The ponytail braided was a vibe, right? Okay, so let's get back to her clothes. We we're finishing her shoes in athletic wear. All right, and I think we'll cut. We we're just going to. Um, Sizzle. She's keeping those shoes, but they're a different color. So let's see what comes through for her. And we'll see if she wants any socks. Well, we're getting very, very distinct messages again, so that's refreshing. So you must be paying attention again. It seems like Grandma G is keeping an eye on you again. same corner yeah yeah that's cool so I'll just share what's going on with Ryan because he's in the middle of this yeah <laughs> so oh okay Ryan I'm gonna have to tune into that after I share this story so last night so okay my sister's dog is staying with us for the weekend and she is just very uh, she's kind of like hyper aware 
And she loves shadows and like chasing lights, but in a room, sometimes she'll just look at random spots in the room, like she's looking at nothing. Obviously, in my perspective, being in the woo-woo world, she's seeing spiritual energies in the space. And she's gone in, she's um, spending the space, some time with dad in his room, because he's about to go to bed, and she's obviously going to sleep with him. And she keeps looking at this one spot in the room. And last night, dad was like, can you just come in here and just suss out what she's looking at? And I ended up, I did notice a particular energy that was in that corner. But then my great-grandmother came through, dad's very, very, very close grandmother. He was very, very close to her. She's part of my angel team and obviously guiding um, guiding over dad as well. She's beautiful, 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 beautiful angelic soul. And she came in and had a little chat with dad and held the space and and currently um, is hanging out with Zari, with uh, hanging out with this other friend who's in your room as well. Like just just chilling in there. So that that's pretty cool. Having a psychic dog. Because Hudson, he must be an old soul. Because I believe all animals are, are able to attune into that um, that realm. He must be an old soul because he just he's not phased. He doesn't care. <laughs> but Zari, she's like, whoa. She must be like a young soul. Because she's like, whoa, there's everything going on right now. <laughs> Hudson's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anyway, the fact that you're like, you're... Uh, talking about Hawaii today with a friend so I'm doing the soulmate for Ryan right and he's like I'm getting kind of Hawaii vibes and he was just talking about Hawaii to a friend today so maybe maybe his soulmate will find him in Hawaii or a leprechaun perhaps dad said <laughs> I love that so much oh my gosh I don't have the best internet right now that's so funny, but hopefully you didn't miss too much of that. <laughs> okay, um... I think I want them to be that same colour there. I think that's what they're wanting to make it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's get rid of that wristband that she keeps wearing for some reason. The bracelet thing. Okay, let's do her hair and any, I guess, makeup. Does she want to wear makeup to go to the gym? No, she doesn't. Okay. Sorry. Okay, she's gonna have her hair up when she goes to the gym like that. <laughs> Crazy dog. <gasps> Hudson doesn't usually bark so much. Okay, um... I think that's her athletics sorted. Let's go to swimwear. Snar, kushla. Okay, we're going a one-piece style. Let's see if it comes up here. What was it? She's going outside to go tell her how, how she feels. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy dog. Oh, Ferguson. Welcome in, Ferguson. Yeah, he just jumped on and he's watching me play now. Ooh. Ooh, Ferguson. So, Dad just said that his friend Simon, who owns the Porsche, 
is going to be coming over tomorrow. He's going to be here between 9am and 11am if you would like to uh, come around. He said if you were interested. So sit in that for a moment. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Alright, Ryan, how how you sitting? How you thinking? Oh my internet. My internet's gone again, isn't it? Ooh Which means I think Ferguson just missed what I said. Alright, let me know let me know that you guys are, um that you that I'm back. Let me know that you can hear everything because I might need to repeat some things. Let me know you're back. Let me know you're back. Is everyone back? Let me know. Wow, my internet's so bad at the moment. What's going on? Test internet speed. What's going on here? Downloads good. Let's upload. That's not too bad for here. I don't know what the internet's doing. It shouldn't be unstable. But anyway, let me know that you guys are back when you come back. Yeah, internet's being really funny tonight. Dad's not downloading anything, is he? No, Dad's not downloading anything. No? <laughs> Dad's trying to balance Grimudgy's crystal on Zara's head. Alright, let me let me know if you guys are back please. Internet's been so funny. Have I got everyone back? I'm here just patiently waiting for my wife, you know. <laughs> you know, the go you're not allowed to go anywhere. My internet's testy and it's like, but you're not allowed to go anywhere. Yeah, my internet's cutting in and out. It's been very temperamental. But um, I do have some cool news, Ferguson, which you would have missed. Let me know if you miss any of what I just say. So dad was saying that his friend Simon who owns the Porsche is coming over tomorrow to work on the car and he said he's going to be here between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. so let me know and I'll let dad know if you're interested maybe you can come and help with the car night Ferguson Ferguson, did you catch anything that I said? Mm. 
Well, now says my internet's excellent, so you gotta go through the crap to get to the good stuff, right? This is looking cool. Let me know if you guys are back with me. Still here, good. <laughs> How's she coming along? You liking her style? She doesn't seem to wear a lot of earrings. To the jungle, we got fun and games. Welcome on in. Who do we have here? Eddie J. Welcome on in. We're um, doing some soulmates uh, connecting through The Sims at the moment. Some of the curious uh, the styles, I've been like, oh, okay. But noting this is also working with what Sims 3 has to offer. <laughs> Um, it's a little limited. Okay, let's do a hair. 
Oh, hey there! So we're currently doing Australia Maid's uh, Soulmate. Connecting to his spirit guides and seeing what comes through, so... I love a hair like that. Okay, um... Let's do personality and then we'll do her looks. Okay, let's see what she has. Interesting. Star, a shy star quality. It, it's like typical, right? The people that are just naturally amazing and gifted are always shy about their talents, right? <laughs> but she doesn't take a lot of BS, so she's a quirky character, but really cool. I like how those have come through. Loves the heat. Hey, maybe she's a Hawaii girl. Okay, let's see what she wants to do here. Scientific specialist. The science skill. Hmm. <laughs> no sense of humor. Divorce. <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes. Alright, her favorite food. Sushi. Favorite music. Rock. Favorite color. Hot pink. Voice. Narzi Banuktol. Wazo Geek Denja Miskabuki. Alright, let's see if a bio comes through. go this is a quirky little bio personally speaking this is all very new to me meeting people getting myself out there being extroverted but I'm willing to give it a go I want to show the world what I've got and I know I have it <laughs> what star sign is she a Sag bit of a fiery spirit okay this is the moment of truth this is when we're going to go do her looks so let's see how this comes together This is the moment. This is really cool. Now, hopefully, this will make up for the no sense of humor. I'm nervous. Welcome to the jungle, we got fun and games. 
Welcome in, Ashley Higgins. We're doing a little bit of soul mate creating at the moment. Connected to Australia Maid's uh, spiritual guidance team and we're seeing who they're channeling through for his soulmate. And it's quirky using Sims to do it. This has been really fun. Um, and we're up to the last step where we actually get to see what she looks like. So this is kind of an exciting deal. In Sim version, anyway. Okay. Eyes. What are your thoughts so far, Ryan? Interested. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, eye color, of course. Okay, that's an eye color. This is her so far. And now it's just lips. I think that's her. I, I think this is Freedy, uh, Frida. I I did not expect to be doing a um, a human in this, <laughs> but uh, this is apparently Frida's vibe, which I love, and in my opinion, she's very pretty. I like, yeah, isn't that cool? 
there's a chance that your spirit guides, Ryan, are not being cheeky and this is actually, yeah, like actually your person. That's pretty cool. My poor Sims game is trying to keep up with us right now. Not Luke. But this, this is her vibe. Back to Hawaii I go. You gotta go find your girl. Ryan, this is your girl. She is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. I love it. <gasps> Alright, we're gonna have to show her off now. So that's her there. Let's make sure we see her in all her attires. I kind of actually like the slight, like, uh, underbite that she has. Like, her, how her chin and her jaw sits. It's pretty cool. I'm kind of... Oh, I could so do another one. So if anyone else has just joined, would like to either do their soulmate um, or a, a, a different soul version of themselves... Soul. This is so unrealistic, but it's just part of the dress. Just imagine her boobs being, like, realistic in this. <laughs> I do Swilla. love her sleepwear. I really, really enjoyed making her such a cool experience Ryan you have to go back to Hawaii if you feel she's in Hawaii like you have to beat her <laughs> even if she isn't big on humor maybe you can warm her up to it right Dip -toggy. yeah she's a vibe Abawe. Very, very cool. Alright, well, Ryan, how do we go? How do we go? <laughs> I'd be curious um, whether if tuning into like the psychic side of things they would guide like a similar to your appearance in this oh, I really want to try it and then you can tell me whether it's close or not that sleepwear and hair is accurate of course of course it is is that, is that what you like um, you know what you fantasize about you know, in your, your own little Ooh, sexual yeah. energies. <laughs> I'm curious whether we'd be able to make a Ryan. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it would be accurate or not, but just, just out of play. Yeah, yeah, like, because I've, like, gotten a glimpse of it through your Instagram but I don't really know any of your features, so I'd be curious if any of the, like, if I just let it channel through, if they'll look similar or not. So, out of curiosity, I'm just going to explore that. <laughs> All right. Um, so... Who knows how this is going to turn out. It might look like you, it might not, but I'm happy to have a play. At the moment... Oh, I should have randomized it, actually. Let me, um... Randomize it so it's more of a human to human base to work with. Would you say that you're quite toned and quite fit, or...? Okay.
I guess we'll see, yeah. And if not, I don't know, maybe this is a version of yourself or I know your your guy's just playing tricks with you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm really curious. <laughs> I'll be interested to see if it gets more eye color because they change. Well, it, surely you could get at least one of those eye colors then, right? At least we could get that accurate. Interesting. How's it looking so far? <laughs> like, is, is it kind of? Is it kind of accurate? to be turned into a sim, you don't reckon this is you? Well, that's what they've given for the face. So... that That's how it's going to turn out today. <laughs> and if this doesn't look like you now, I don't know if this is like... I don't know. You in, a, in another life? You in a different timeline? Who knows? 
eye color though. very bright it's a very bright blue how are they going are they at least a little bit close Which hairstyle do you reckon? More so. That one? Or that one? Mm, my poor internet cannot keep up. <laughs> Have I got you back? I gave you two hairstyle choices. And you are ripped as. <laughs> I do have nice legs. <laughs> how, how did the sims go? Is, is this kind of close? Do we need to change your hairstyle? There was another hairstyle. And I don't think you got to see it because I think um, the internet cut out again. Okay, I'll have to show the other hairstyle then. Because there's that one.
or there was this one. I don't think you've got an undercut, but that's an undercut. Damn, that looks tidy. It definitely incorporates the length at least. Even if it's not the exact style. What are your thoughts on your sim sim version? Did they get your eye color at least? Yeah, okay. I can back that Chris Hemsworth vibe. But like, were they at least close? Did they get close with what they had option like access to? Can you see similarities or not really? Eyes are close. Their base sort of color is like aqua J kind of color. Yeah, pretty. Hey, Mickey. Welcome here, Dallin. We're um, attempting to make Australia made in The Sims. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it's come through. <laughs> you don't wear jeans. Would you wear these? Maybe not. They look like jeans. I don't know there's much else here unless you wear um <laughs> cargos. It's like a chino style. Could probably get away with that. Basketball shorts. Oh, I don't know. If basketball shorts are on here. These might be the closest to basketball shorts. <laughs> anyway, we could go through and see what the Sims would give you. And then uh, when we move into the town. Maybe you and your, um, we could like put you in a relationship with your soulmate. Yeah, they're pretty close to basketball shorts. Wow, they're bold. Does that count as basketball shorts? Jay, what mischief have you been getting up to? 
Welcome in, welcome in. Got Misty. Hi, Misty. We got Toad. Love the name, Toad. That's so good. LJ, what mischief have you been doing? <laughs> Did you end up having a, another Dinkum session? What's the gossip? Meat mischief? Whatever do you mean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, lovelies, we are doing some Sims, but I'm actually, uh, like, dabbling and playing with my spirit guides. And Australia made and me, actually, at the moment, are having a fun little play around. So I'm channeling through his channel guides. We made his potential soulmate, which was pretty cool. We'll show her off because she's Hurrah. gorgeous. This is Frida, his potential soulmate that he feels could be in um, Hawaii, which is cool. Who knows? Could be this lifetime, could be not. But that was really fun. This is um, I was the last few Sims that we've made using and channeling the divine have come through to be like more on the mystical side of things. Like I love how uh, Ryan's spirit guides were playing around with us earlier and. We were like seeing, or oh, a different version, you know, who who would be like a past life version or, you know, um, multi-dimensional version or whatever it is of his soul. And we were creating this sim and it got to the point where I was like, this has got like leprechaun vibes, like all the green and even the gold skin kind of tone. And then we're like, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Of course, I'd be making him into a leprechaun. <laughs> so. so this is our leprechaun. Um, his name's Freya. And yeah, that was so fun. So fun to somehow end up making a leprechaun. <laughs> How was your Dinkum sesh? Brunard Dar. Yeah, it's it's a little different for me to be uh, doing this sort of stream. A bit more of a, a spiritually influenced stream. Yeah, me and my my guides are having good fun playing around with this. <laughs> We've got to see if we can save Ryan's clothing. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued what the Sims version of his clothing would be. Uh, LJ, funny, like, always done some silly stuff. Ended up dead in the middle of the ocean. Wait, 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 wait. How did you end up in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> Was this on the big group server that you jump on? And what's the gossip on your mum with the Snoop Dogg tour, please? Uh, gossip, please? <laughs> Let's see if we can get this outfit sorted for our friend Ryan. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a way to make an entrance. Hey Matt, how are you? <laughs> Gee, golly wish. Well, I'm awake now. So I don't know if you guys kind of know how I'm doing this, I'm assuming not, but I'm using my clairvoyance from um, my spirit guides to help me design these sims. So I have no, I don't know what they're going to look like. I'm not, I don't have an intention on how they're going to look. This is just how they're being guided to look. So I kind of just go through, for example, on this scale, I'm kind of like going, it's kind of like they go, 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 stop. And they just tell me when to stop. And same when I do the ring here, like it's the go, 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 stop. So that's kind of like the process of what's going on here. <laughs> um, LJ, I was visiting my lovely craft joy and well, we we're looking for pearls in the middle of nowhere and I broke the helicopter and Bruce was waiting. <sighs> Here's Brucey. I call my um I call my period after Bruce. I always say that Bruce is coming to visit at Shark Week. <laughs> oh good Ryan. <laughs> Love that. So mom missed him. She was sleeping while my dad met him. Oh she was dancing around with him all after his last concert in Adelaide. Oh my gosh. Oh, well at least at least dad saw him, right? That's so funny. Out of all the opportunities, that's what you decided to sleep? Fran, what are you doing? <laughs> shark Week, yes. I do call my period Shark Week. Alright. 
Alright. We'll see... We'll see what pants are meant to come up here. Maybe you can get away with these pants because apparently um, having uh, basketball shorts isn't good enough. Something a bit different. We're giving um, Ryan a makeover. Probably not something he'd normally wear but that's the whole point, right? <laughs> uh, Dad said there was nothing of of him look like a walking tracksuit. Wow. Whew. Mind you, there is nothing of my dad either. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm not too surprised. He's so quirky though. Right, I'm horrified. <laughs> well, maybe your soulmate won't be. Maybe this is the outfit that your soulmate will love, okay? Right, trust trust your guides here, right? <laughs> They're having a jolly good time. <laughs> do you usually have your hair out, Ryan, or do you put it up in a man bun? So so. Oh, you have to wear pants like that one day. This is your moment to shine, Ryan. The pants have to come out. I usually have a hat on. I thought you might. I'm, I was curious that they didn't give you a hat look. You gotta wear red pants one day, Ryan. The Sims know. The Sims know. Gotta do the red pants. We're not playing safe anymore. We're we're getting our self expression out there. I don't even open oh, Pants are overrated. Pants are overrated, but you need to get yourself a pair of red pants. And and those coloured shoes. Wow, they're really butchering your outfit here. <laughs> they're giving you some new um, style ideas. I always like giving you a watch. Do you usually wear a watch? Oh, yeah. Ryan, you must. LJ. Okay, lovely. I'm going to get ready for bed. Yes, I'm not going to be far behind. This is very, very late for me, but I technically don't work tomorrow, so I'm letting myself be a little bit naughty. <laughs> um, but thank you for popping on. Send you so much love and light, and I shall catch you next time. <coughs> love and light, darling.
It is extremely late for me. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> oh dear. Sims. Why does it do this to me? See you, gorgeous girl. Thank you. Oh, oh, please tell me you'd wear something like that, Ryan. That's funky as. You would definitely be picking up Frida with this. I'm gonna keep it. I reckon that's pretty fun. Um, I'm curious. Yeah, they didn't want to put you with a, a hat on though, which is interesting. We locked up. I'm assuming you don't usually... What would be your usual sleep attire? Most people just sleep naked. I don't know if Sims allows me to let you sleep naked in this. Yeah, alright, well, apparently this is now nothing. <laughs> they keep bringing you to browns. Do you like wearing the colour brown? Yep, so. Olive is a nice colour. I do like that khaki olive. I love um like a deep the deep maroney red. I love wearing that colour. Make sure you put socks on, because working out without socks in is not good. Melio. How about those boardies? <laughs>
When I was in Hawaii, the Foot Locker had the tries I was looking for. Nowhere in Australia had them. They had one left, and it was my size, and the olive color was meant to be. Did you, is that tries or is that TNs? I had the trainers I was looking for, is that what you mean? It was definitely meant to be. I love that so much. <laughs> tries. What do you mean by tries? Oh, that makes more sense. That's pretty cool. So when were you in Hawaii? I feel like you've mentioned this before. Yep so. Five sixties go for better. I remember you mentioning this. I definitely have a due to go back over. Got some interesting outfits. I apologize, but I'm just I'm just going with the flow here. I'm just gonna have to embrace uh, the weird Sims uh, attires. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be quirky. What do they think your personality is? All right, let's see. Ooh, would you consider yourself to be flirty? Uh, Are you a bit of a flirty boy? Extremely. <laughs> I love that. Would you say you're a bit of a loner? Aww. Huh? Aww. Be up, yo. What are your thoughts at? That's kind of what we're looking at. <gasps> You've got to become a renowned surgeon. You're in the wrong trade. You're in the completely wrong career path.
rockabilly. Fuck yeah. Ebly Condoroy. Chapel Glow. Alright, well this is a cute little thing that channeled through. If you resonate or not, it's still really sweet. Where to begin? A world of adventure, of trying new things, of becoming new things. The world is one's oyster, right? I'm ready to take on, uh, take on all. Let's go. Ah, oh, take on all it's got. There you go. A cute little bio about our friend Ryan here. There we go. Well, that was quirky. I don't know whether this feels like or looks like you at all, but it was still fun to, to see what would come up. We'll have to pair you with Frida when we do a play because I How think she have? is awesome. Like, really, really cool. I feel like I've seen her face or something like her face before. Have a look though. <laughs> it's definitely interesting. <laughs> Good old Sims at it again. Mm -hmm. I don't think those pants suit you, but we can fix it up at a later date. I'm still, I really need to go to bed, but I'd love to know what horse would come through for me. Oh, internet's cut out again. Poor thing can't keep up. I've had um I've had a horse come through to me that's meant to be like a I guess an upcoming horse for me. Um let's write Ignesco Grace here so we know what the last name is kind of in a line with. And let's go well, I know Trinity came through pretty strongly. We'll make Trinity. So Trinity was the female that came through to me. She was a bit more distinct. Let's see. Yeah, the internet's really struggling tonight. <laughs> we get a horse. We're getting a horse. I kind of was curious. So I feel like I had a horse come through to me in some of my visions. And we'll see if she comes forward. She might have an Arabian vibe to her. Yeah, that's the one that seems to be wanting to come through to me now. Um, Arabs are very high-spirited horses. See if there's any in particular that wants to come through. Okay, let's let's add a layer and see maybe it wants socks or something.
Do we run on that leg? I can't remember if I would do this. I don't think I'm up to this right now, but the idea of um, eventually doing one would be pretty cool. I might leave it for now, but yes, at one stage we'll definitely get a, um, a horse going. I have so... Uh, like, so much in regards to horse CC on this. Like, so much. <laughs> so if I go into, um, yeah, accessories, I could be an exhibit. Exhibit like my horse in Red Dead Redemption 2. I need, apparently, there's so many horse people that just play Red Dead Redemption 2 for the horses. And you know what? I don't blame them. Um, so I, yeah, I've got so much. Let's go everyday riding. I have so many, um, potential bridles, setups, heaps of them. Like, you could go more of the traditional, um, like, barber style. Oh, oh, that looks pretty. Got so much of this stuff going, hey. Oh, like, how can you not? Then you just gotta make that the same red as this. Oh, like, yeah? How could you not love that? <laughs> Probably doesn't look a lot like uh, your Red Dead horse now. Now it's like kind of a little bit more on the tradition how they would look. Um, I don't know if I can do... I don't think I've got any brains on this though. It's a problem. Oh, looks so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I want to do more horse riding. I do love my horses. Um, I'm probably at a point where I'm not fully confident in a canter, but I can sit in a canter. Uh, but I definitely need some more horse riding in my life. Oh, but look at that, man. Isn't that just awesome yeah i could i could really delve into that but we won't go too crazy let's go in and say fryer though because we don't want to lose him so we just we can go save sim to bin so he's now saved he can move into our town and then we've got frida Grava. oh she's so if she's honestly your soulmate that is so cool i love that okay Save her into town. She's going to help us through an apocalypse too. Have you ever ridden a horse? If you really want a horse, we can have a horse on your lot. Wow. Um, and we'll save him as well. So I should now have them all in the bin. Let's just double check. Yeah, okay, so everyone's in there. Oh, look at my night elf though. She turned out so cool. My mate's brother has two x rays horses. Hectic. So you have been riding with him? If you ever want to shoot yourself, ride one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. Oh, she turned out so cool. Night elf vibes full shell. Okay, I need to go to bed. But I just had to come and appreciate her. Because she's really cool. <laughs> In fact, we've, we do have some pretty... He needs horns. I'll get him his horns. I have a dog. He really needs his horns. Um, but he turned out pretty cool too. Okay. Oh. Dip -toggy. She's so cool. Love that hairstyle for her too. Oh, I love that. Okay. I need to leave. Let us leave. Yeah, we need to go. I, I need to go to bed. This is 
crazy beyond my bedtime. But Ryan, thank you so much for hanging out with me. <laughs> that was cool. It was good to play around with and I, I had a lot of fun. And you have to, you must, must keep me posted if you ever met Frida. You need to go to, you need to go to Hawaii. If she's in Hawaii, you gotta go to Hawaii. In all honesty, but that braid ponytail and sleepwear fucks me up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't, I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you at all. And just that, uh, that, like, sleep, that underwear piece as well just really suited her. But no, braided ponytail. I'm with you on that one, Ryan. Absolutely. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks to everyone else that popped on and joined as well. I'm going to take these vibes to my bed whilst I sleep. <laughs> Which is going to be amazing. Um, I actually reached my follower goal too, so thank you to everyone who contributed to that. How exciting. I love that. I'm going to have to do a, a follower goal. Um, yeah, like a, a follower goal treat or challenge or I don't know, something to celebrate it. I put posters in Hawaii of that sim. Have you seen anyone looks like them? <laughs> the name as well. Don't forget to put a name on there. Was it a uh, uh, Frida Prashid? Prashid, I think, or something along those lines. Which seems like it sounds Indian, right? An Indian name. Um. Anyway, well, Indian out of here. Let me see if there's anyone on we can go raid. A lot of ASMR people. Um, I only have reruns of ASMR people. There's actually not a lot of people on it. Is there anyone playing The Sims 3? Um, we do. Who's this person? Um, yeah. Wait, let me, let me open picture. Cause like, I have, I have one with just Marlo was, is live or something, I think. So I got the Marlo was not here, right? And then I got Marlo was live. Because Marlo was here was, you know. Hmm. Or do I want to treat some people with some ASMR? Well, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. I think ASMR will be good for us. Let's go. Uh, it is a rerun, so it won't be live, but it'll be nice for you to just chill and listen to. So we'll go in and raid her channel. Okay, that's worked. But yes, no. Thanks, Ryan. I hope you sleep well. Send you lots of love and light. And I'll probably catch you when I stream again. It could be tomorrow. I'm really enjoying this um this phase that I'm going through. You'll be on Expedia. What is Expedia? Do I wanna know what Expedia is? What are you what are you getting up to? So those questions like do I wanna know? <laughs> Knowing what mischief you get up to. Uh, and thank you to your amazing guides too for, for coming through. It was fun to connect with them. The travel site. Ah, oh, yes, of course. That makes more sense. Yes, of course. Get onto it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll leave you to uh, conjure up your gorgeous soulmate because if it is Frida, she's absolutely... That would be really, really cool. <laughs> and if not... You know, just love yourself and you'll find your love radiated and reflected. I'm going. I'm going now. I'm going to leave you with some cool, calming AS. Somebody to help you get to sleep. Love and light. <laughs>